Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like there's two people here. Um, well, you know, I can, there's a lot that somebody here knows that it's coming to an end and someone here is in a lot of regret because they miss you. You know, these two people have, they only have you on their mind right now. You're the only one on both these people's minds. Um, there's a masculine energy who's possibly afraid to confront you, or maybe they're afraid to get out of a situation with somebody else. The person that they chose over you is stressed out. They know that this masculine doesn't want to be with them. They know it. They know this masculine wants to leave, and um, they know that it's coming to an end here in that situation, okay? Now, this masculine, um, they know that they had a blessing here when it, when, in love when it came to you, okay? They chose other people over you, and nothing worked out the way that they thought it would. You're the empress here. Ooh, ooh. And you're cutting this masculine off. Like you are not, you're not putting any more focus or energy into this connection. You could have um, this masculine blocked, right? They're literally crying over spilt milk. That's what this is. They're crying over the decision that they made in the past. Um, the choice that they made, okay? And this karmic or whoever this is, they know it. Whoever they chose over you is, um, they know at any moment this masculine is going to come and confront them and say that it's over. At any moment. They're already at the Nine of Wands. They can't take it anymore. They can't. They may have already told this karmic, I can't take it anymore. You know, one more wand and that's it. That's burdens that they can't carry. Okay, um, all they're thinking about is you, the earth angel, right? The one that they turn their nose up at. Oh, man. Yep, and you're, yep, look. And there's been jealousy. There's been toxic energy. They, they chose the devil over somebody who's divine. I feel like this is, and I'm about ready to give a divine feminine reading, you guys, too. So... The, the Divine Feminine just keeps popping up in my readings today. I feel like um, people are, the, the masculines are really feeling the separation from you, Divine Feminine, okay? And you're not giving in. You're, um, and you're peaceful about it. You're peaceful, you're calm, you're manifesting something new here. This is the beginning of your new life too, you guys. Today is the new moon energy. Um, today, I think it's today, right? It, it is today the 11th. Um, it, that is the portal um, for this new cycle to start. And you're, you're starting a new cycle having this victory, okay? The masculine knows it. The karmic knows it. All these two are doing is fighting about you. Fighting, fighting, fighting about you. Because uh, they know, this this karmic knows that this masculine wants to have this new beginning with you. Okay? I feel like, too, there may be some communication that comes in for you. Um, it could even be this karmic. Because she's feeling very jealous. She's kind of raging. Um, she may want to fight. Okay, or she may be calling you soon or texting you soon wanting to fight with you because there's a masculine here that wants you. Okay, they want their empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a, a Cancer, a Taurus, Aries, Gemini, uh, Sagittarius. But you're moving on. This fell on the floor. Heartache, betrayal. I feel like this is what you're throwing away, too. This is what you're releasing. Third-party situation crap, right? Heartache, the betrayal, 
the backstabbing, that's what you're releasing. Um, and just as you release all of that and move forward, um, these people start feeling it. They feel the heartache, the betrayal. The karmics feel in the heartache and betrayal. Okay? Because this masculine one, look, and it's almost like this is now where the, this is the runner, this is the chaser. You are about to be chased. Um, I feel like this is your person from the past coming in with an apology, literally chasing after you as you move forward. Do you see this? Some of you could be traveling or even making some kind of house move. You know, wanting to start something new somewhere else. Because you just want to live your life. Look, this this a twin flame soulmate connection. You're a divine feminine. You are an earth angel, light worker, divine being. You're, we're talking about a, um, a divine masculine here who is, was the runner and now they're about to be the chaser. Okay? They don't want to let you go. They know that you're leveling up. They know that you, they can see somehow that you're having this victory. So they're probably watching you, you know, on the internet. This is somebody who walked away from you. Now you're walking away from them. You know, um, yeah, you were once the, the I feel like the, they were once the runner. Now they're the chaser. Everything is starting to kind of flip on this person. Okay, they can't stop thinking about you. The one that they walked away from, they cannot stop thinking about you. You know, I thought that I think this person thought that they could um, get away with hurting you or things would be better somewhere else. And they were so wrong. You're the one for them. Look, you're the one that they wanted. They want to give you this offer. They don't want you to leave. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, they're going to start chasing. Okay. And whoever they chose over you knows it. It's about to come to an end. Yeah, King of Cups coming out in reverse. Ugh. This person, I'm telling you, um, they can totally feel your disconnect, okay? I'm just getting like, they're feeling very shaky. They're on shaky ground. I keep getting that off of this Two of Pentacles today in the readings, you guys. I got that in the last reading, too. Like, um, um, they can feel you moving forward. They can feel that vibration and shake in the ground when you um, leave their life. This is you completing a cycle, moving into this portal, this circle around you. That's a portal. You're moving on boldly, courageously, confidently. And this is also you possibly being in the public eye. You could be posting some pictures of yourself or something. Okay? And this person's seeing it, and they're getting really, really emotional. Like, I feel like they're doing a lot of crying over this. Okay? Because they're remembering... They're remembering those um, instances where you, the, those moments, right? Um, the times you dance, the times you kiss, the, the things that you said, the way that you treated them, the way you would look at them, the things you did for them, the way you made them feel. That's all that this person can think about. And whoever they chose, I feel like they chose a karmic individual over you. That could be very codependent on this person. And um, she's jealous. She's raging, wanting to fight. And you're out here just wanting peace. Just you, You're just peaceful. You're glowing. Um, this masculine could be seeing you on a major glow up. I feel like you're posting photos or something of yourself that they can see. And it's making them an emotional wreck. A flipping emotional wreck because you are the one that they want to be with okay so yeah they're getting ready to speak their truth they can't stand this anymore they know they're headed towards a future of heartache 
if they don't do something about this. So I feel like they're tapping on this blade here, getting ready to pick it up and cut the karmic off and come to you. They're definitely um, about to take some kind of action, okay? Clarify this Knight of Wands is out here. Why is the Knight of Wands out here? I feel like there's something about your photos that has this person feeling possessive, very passionate. Oh, man, they want you so bad. Oh, collective, they want you so bad. You know? Uh, I, was, I just want to say, have you ever wanted something so bad in your life that you just ache over it? That's kind of the feeling I'm getting off of this person. Okay. Yep, you're their happiness collective and you're leaving. You're leaving them behind. When you walk off your spread here with that cup of love in your hand, you take, your, you take this person's happiness with you. You've got your back turned towards all of this. You know, this is like, get thee behind me, Satan, right? But your person, they're coming in, very passionate energy, yeah. Sometimes, you know, the Knight of Wands kind of gets a bad rap out here in Tarot Land. Um, because right out the gate, we usually see this person as a player, okay? But... You know, I, I even I sat here and I was like, I don't want to call this person a player yet because I'm feeling that enthusiastic energy off of them, that fire, that passion, okay? I'm feeling it off of that card. And I feel like that's what this person, I feel like this is kind of, it feels like determination from a very passionate space, okay? That they know they've got to come in here. They know they've got to kind of get a victory here. You are their happiness. You're the one they want. They don't want anyone else. It's kind of like, you know, you guys, have you ever watched those um, romance movies, right? Where during the movie, there's all kinds of chaos and, and the, the two people split. But at the end of the, at the, end of the movie, there's these, um, you know, this person like just can't handle it anymore. And the masculine, they go to all kinds of lengths just to get back to the one that they love. It's kind of like that. Okay? That's what I would compare this to. You know, like a really good romance movie, <laughs> right? With that ending that's just flipping intense, you know? Um, as this masculine makes his way to the one that they love. I mean, that's kind of what it feels like to me. Okay? It does. I'm not going to lie. You know, um, they're even, they're showing me scenes from like, what is it called? Honeymoon in Vegas, where the dude jumps out of an airplane for her. And um, just the, the lengths that these masculines, when someone, oh my gosh, now they're playing, when a man loves a woman. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person's coming towards you. Um, they're getting the strength, the confidence that they need, okay? Taking that leap of faith, taking that chance, all right? Coming in fast, I feel. Yeah, here they come with that apology on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Pisces. It's so exciting. It's seriously, it's like watching a really good romance movie. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, uh, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aquarius. <laughs> I'm like getting a kick out of this reading, I gotta say. All right. Okay, what else can you show me? Yeah, so they're coming in. They're coming in. They can't just watch you anymore. This fell on the floor. They can't just watch you anymore, okay? And there's, there's been silence, right? Silence. Um, they can't stand it. Yeah, so spirit's leading them right to you. 
And now we've got like a higher font, high priestess energy here. This person could have, they could be coming towards you with some kind of awakening. You know, when they, what I'm picking up on is when they get, when they come towards you, they can feel your vibration. Like when, um, like now you may even be able to sense this person's vibration, right? I also am kind of feeling like this person may be passing some kind of test, you know? Clarify this higher font. Clarify the higher font for my beautiful collective. Yes. Eight, nine swords, yeah. Um, I, this is, I feel like you can sense this person around you. Like you can feel it, you can sense it. You know, you I'm being led to look at your um, your blindfold here. You can feel them in your vicinity or coming towards you. They can feel you as well. I feel like this is a twin flame soulmate. Okay, I really do. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, this person, they're getting ready to take action. <clears throat> Clarify this moon. Why is the moon here? You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, I see this person's going to take action, but they're kind of in, I'm feeling Gemini energy, actually, because they're kind of in two minds right now. Their body wants to, like, jump, right, and run towards you and chase after you, right? But their mind, their mind is saying, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to get another chance. What, what if the collective doesn't feel about me the same way anymore? What if they have someone else? What if, what if, what if they're dating already? You know, this person really wants this. Okay, they want this blessing and love with you, but they're worried. Okay, they're worried here. They're, they kind of start overthinking, playing or playing with the scenarios in their head. Okay, um, so yeah, I just feel this worried, not sure what's going to happen, knowing they're taking a risk, um, knowing that they have to do something. You know, it's this panic. It's like everything. <laughs> you guys, it's the, it's how the masculine feels in the end, like at the end of those romance movies. Yeah, but now is the time. They're coming forward. Look, they're coming forward. All right? The, the spirit is saying this, the, the time is now to take action. So here they come. It's, it's taken them a long time to get to this point. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. And when they come towards you, this person is going to be very guarded, worried, scared, because they know that with one word, you could, you could hurt them, um, give them a whole lot of heartache, and they would have to suffer losing you for the rest of their life. All you have to say is one word, no. And that would crush this person. Okay, but they, they know they've got to take this risk. They've got to. That's how they're feeling about it. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. <laughs> you know? Oh, all right. Let me get some oracle cards on it. What can you show me for my beautiful collective, please? So get ready because they are coming forward. I feel like this person's being told. No texting no phone calling. This is something that you have to do in person, okay? And you can definitely feel this. You can feel this person coming towards you. Um, yeah, and th this is somebody who wants to be loyal. They want to be dedicated. They want you forever, okay? They know that you're the one for them. They're, they're wanting to put in the work, okay? They see you as their soulmate, past life soulmate connection. They want to try to make things better, um, like 
whatever pain they caused you, they want to make it better. Okay? Yeah, this is coming in fast, collective. You may even have a, a new soulmate coming in as well. Okay, because this person took too long. You know? They could have created some kind of competition for themselves now. But, um, yeah, I definitely see them coming back in like a like a beautiful ending in a romance novel or, a ro you know, a romance movie. Oh, yeah, you can feel this person approaching. Look, you know. <laughs> You're like, oh, man, it's going to be any day now, any minute now. I can just, I just know it. I can feel it. I'm telling you. And you're remaining very calm, meditative. You could be doing a lot of manifesting right now because we are in that new moon energy. This is the 111 portal that we're in, okay? So you're focused maybe on a new soulmate, love, money, abundance, and this person, they're about to show up at your door, okay? So get ready for this apology, 